We now have the court documents that spell out what investigators say led to a five-year-old's death. He had cocaine and fentanyl in his system. Deputies announced they arrested the boy's mom earlier this week, one year after he died. News 6's Catherine Silver is live at the Orange County Sheriff's Office this evening with the new details from her arrest report. So, Catherine, why did it take so long to take her into custody? Well, that report from the sheriff's office reveals that detectives here did not get the toxicology report that revealed the boy had drugs in his system until two months after his death. They then spent time questioning the mother and others where they learned that she was allegedly dealing drugs out of the house. And that is how detectives believe this little boy was exposed to the drugs that killed him. That's Glendalise Gadro Torres walking in handcuffs with deputies in Orange County Tuesday. More than one year after her son's death, she's now facing a charge of aggravated manslaughter. Is there frustration for you that it took a whole year? Of course. I, I fought with detectives. I, I, I went over there a lot. I, I just wanted answers. You know. Hector Pantojas, the little boy's father, says he last saw his son two days before his death. I was with him in, in her front porch just talking and we went to the park, took some pictures and that was it. That was the last time I saw him. Court documents claim Gadro Torres found the boy unresponsive in his bedroom last August. In October, detectives questioned her about the cocaine and fentanyl in his system, and she claimed she didn't know how they got there. A search warrant for her phone later revealed she was selling illegal narcotics. Deputies say she failed to protect her child at home, where drugs were stored, bought, and used. Who knows if it was her fault or not, but she was the one in charge. She was the one who had my son at the moment. It's your job not to let anything happen to him. Pantoja says he can't bring his boy back, but he hopes he can find peace for his only child, an eager, smart, and joyful little boy. To make everybody laugh, that little boy impacted so many people's lives dramatically. That little boy was remembered. He will always be remembered. Now, Gadro Torres denied having access to any of those drugs and also claimed that she did not keep them inside of the home, according to the arrest report. Records show that one day after she was taken into custody, she was released from jail on a $15,000 bond. I'm live in Orange County. Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6.